Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of The Lovable Sovereignty of Scotland. And as you guys know, last episode we did a couple things, like, in the, like there was a cardinal that apparently was really happy that we stayed, you know, Catholic, which we were like, yeah, we did. And they were like, yeah, you totally see Catholic, here's some awards. And we were like, yeah. And apparently the, the islands have already been all colonized. That kind of stinks. I was hoping maybe we'd get some islands in there. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and our evil enemy of England has already started their colonizational efforts. So right now we're in kind of a colonizing race with them. You know, I mean, we don't have exactly the greatest, you know, stuff going for us. But we definitely know when we know that there's Englishmen coming and we don't like the English to be moving in on us. Um, but basically what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to establish my usual colony route, which is like I'm going to establish like right back here. Assimilation, yes! Yay! Conversion successful! Alright. That means there's only literally one province that is preventing us from actually getting there. So, let's see. Uh, three, four, six... No, I wouldn't be having enough. So I'm basically going to have to wait until religious zeal goes away before I can go convert Lannister. So, yeah. But at least we only have one province. Compared to all the others, we only have one. That is really nice to do. And... Uh, see, I still don't know... Negative 2% to decay. You know, that would be really nice. Leadership without upkeep. Eh, that's okay. Isn't great. Um... You know, I think I might get something like maritime ideas. Because we need to get a good navy going. And this would be nice to have. But I also need to balance out myself. Make sure that I don't go too much into one technology. Native Uprising. Good thing we killed them. Alright. I mean, they only have about... Oh. I I thought they only had like 200 of them left. Because we had assimilated like a couple good amount of them. Apparently not. That's, that's not how assimilation works. Be quiet, James. That's not... Be quiet. And there's somebody I know. So I'm going to like have to pause it for a second, guys. Okay, I'm back again. So, yeah, we're about to get our first colonial colony fully functioning. It's about to happen, people. Watch this. Watch this. It's fully Catholic, too, which I'm really proud of. Yes, there we go. Fully sustained colony. All right, time to move to the next one. Because we can. And we need to get that colonial state up and running as quickly as possible. Once we get this island conquered, then we're going to have a good... Like, start to go to the baseline, then go right here, then go right there. Oh, man, it's going to be so awesome to get this all going. Okay, so that's going to be our colonial efforts. Now, back to the mainland efforts. Well, we need to finish up our last little caravel, which, if we still have a lot of money from here, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is also start upgrading some of our caravels, because I know a lot of our caravels are actually out obsolete. So we're going to have to update those anyways. And interesting, we have gained a grand captain. Too bad we still can't use any of those guys because we don't have enough money. But, and the good thing is, people, our prestige has almost completely recovered to the point of being great again. That is kind of awesome. If we just have, if we just like could unite all of our land into like, well, not oh, unite all of our land, unite our land religiously, we basically have what we need, which would be nice. And apparently their issues kind of ended. Well, at least I improved relationship with them, and it was nice. Okay, let's see, go right here. Let's see, go right there, and you guys combine, make a good unit, and yeah, just keep go, just keep protecting trade. Yes, protect the trade. Wah ha ha ha! Yes, we slightly outnumbered them. Yay! Okay, so now that we finally outnumbered them just a wee bit. Um, what we have to start doing is we have to start upgrading our actual people, well, not actual people, our actual ships, so that they will start actually performing at a better level. Um, what also I think I should also do is finally, like, get our troops finally at the point of, you know, max out. I mean, because we have enough, we have enough, like, manpower, we have full maximum manpower, we should probably max out the rest of our troops. So, I'm going to buy some cannons. Wait, wait, this counts 7.8. That's actually going to... That bank... That would actually legitimately bankrupt me if I bought what I need to buy. 
So we're not going to do that just yet. Okay. We're also going to see what happens about the different things. Because I don't think I'm going to stay a feudal monarchy. Because I actually don't care that much about manpower. I think what I'm going to try to go to is administrative monarchy to get that tax modifier and like administrative stuff. That seems really nice. Or I could try to go for a lion despotism and just like, you know, accepted cultures and yearly prestige. Or I could go constitutional, year of nationalism, minus five. I could do all these kind of things. Actually, the most one that sounds the best is probably administrative because it has this right here. So that's the only reason why I'd love to do that. It's because of that. But actually, I think we should probably start upgrading our ships slowly but surely. So let's see. Get that ship. Let's see. Where's our army? There we go. Um, let's see. Let's get one of these early barks. Yeah, because we're on Karax. Yeah, Caravels. All right. You guys keep patrolling the Northern Sea. <gasps> yes, we got presence in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. You break off. There we go. And that way we can start like upgrading ourselves and getting better ships and getting better stuff and just having all around good things happen to us. And I think I'm actually what I'm going to do is actually try to get to this because right now if we were to play the cards right we'd have 50 colonial people already over here in the new world you know averagely arriving we already have 35 but we could have 50 people arriving here each month which would drastically increase the amount of people that come which would be really really nice and then we could start fighting England <laughs> well that's down the road actually but we will start fighting them eventually and then I still don't know what I want to take for this over here because I'm not you know expansionistic would be kind of nice to take you know getting both the double colony going that merchants that you know this is kind of nice I guess for a little bit but it's not like great I mean it's not as good as like explorations ideals but this is not bad hmm oh and did he die already he died already James the fourth is taking the throne he's at 634 uh James the fifth long may his reign go and he officially ended the naming pattern of naming every kid named James now we have a Walter well, thank goodness, Walter, you were born. Because now we have you. Goodness gracious. Alright, and I don't want to make him a general because if we do, I have a feeling that he'll die instantly. I'm going to wait until his son is at least of age. I want to make sure he lives a little bit longer. Okay. And royal marriage from France, of course. Of course, France, you guys get a royal marriage. Any thrones I could take? Still no. Okay. Uh, Austria, do you guys want a... Uh, Yes, yes, you guys do. Yes, okay, okay, we'll give it to you guys. We'll give it to you guys. And um, let's go get, let's go add these guys to the uh, army. Oh, whoops! Didn't mean that to happen. That to happen. That that to happen. And let's go right here. Go right here and start getting the northern sea again. And now since we're starting to have a little bit more sway, what I'm actually going to do is recall merchant here. And over here is I'm actually going to start transferring trade, transfer trade from the Lundbeck node. There we go. I'm going to use this guy to go transfer trade upwards more. That way we get a little bit more trade from St. Lawrence. This is why I kind of like tr you know going upwards is because it gives us a little bit more power. And culture ties weakened. That's not good. Culture and Cape K will become American. Oh well then. Uh is huh that's good bad i don't know yet <laughs> i'll just reconvert it if it's really annoying me i mean i i wouldn't i wouldn't really consider that bad or good just kind of like eh. <laughs> oh my goodness okay and let's see final province the final province guys We've gained a dispute cause Villa trade against them. I can't really do much about it though. Because they kind of control more than me. The person who has more power gets to decide what the other people do. And now I have 66 ducats. Which isn't... Actually, it's a little bit less than what we did have. That's kind of making me sad. So maybe I should go put my merchant back over here. Hmm. 
Yeah, maybe I should. Because it seems like we were making way more money when I had... When I had that merchant over there instead of over here. Like, we call merchant and then go send him back over here, transfer trade from the Gulf of St. Lawrence. That way he does his job. I was making way more money the other way instead of how we're doing it now. So let's just see. Will I make money again about the same? This is about 2.2. So let's see if we can get back to 2.2, 1.8. Let's see, how much does this go back up, or should we just go put our merchant back over the other place? And colony come. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Really? Guys, really? Did that really have to. Uh, how, how far along is the development of this colony? Because that will decide if I want to risk just going bankrupt for it. Uh, I don't want to go bankrupt, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they could lose half the they could lose half that. That's not too much. It may sound mean. It really does. But I was not I was willing to make that sacrifice. Okay. And now let's see, how much do we make this month? Hmm. It's about the same. <laughs> oh wow. It's about the same no matter where we go. And they are part of Savoy is the emperor right now? Huh. Go figure. Okay, um, hmm, hmm, well, what we could do is do this, I don't really want to do no causes bed I war, so, um, we already don't have enough prestige as it is to do that. Also, everyone, Russia has apparently formed. It was Muscovy a couple seconds ago, but now it's Russia. Congratulations, everyone, Muscovy, Russia is on the map with an apparently strong Crimea, wow. And war has started with England joining in. Yep. Okay. Shoot. Why did they go to war? To take the Highlands. You know, I've heard some really stupid reasons for me for to go into war, but you guys declared war me to go take the Highlands. Okay. That seems kind of stupid. Just gonna say that now. That seems kind of stupid. But anyways. Am I worried about this? Not really. I have literally Austria and and France on my side. Um, totally Austrian. They're all in the top five. Scandinavia is eighth, and they're only forty six. I mean, legitimately, Austria could take them all by themselves. But with France on the side, it, it's no competition. Hopefully, what I'm hoping is going to happen is that maybe the British will leave me alone, and maybe I can go get some provinces out of this. Or maybe they'll just go directly attack me instantly. Shoot. Okay. Um, evacuation of army. Commence. Okay. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? This is going to be the most cowardly thing I think I've ever done in my entire games. I'm going to basically go hide myself on that island. Yes, I'm going to go hide myself on that island and hope I don't die. Run! Run faster, men! Run faster! Run faster! Oh, go, go, go! No! Oh, man. How did you guys not make it? Oh, uh, and there goes my army. Well, there wasn't much I could have done anyways, but the good thing about this is that England cannot take me to 100% because of the fact that uh, I do have some colonies over here in, in Scotland, and by the way, I'm going to go take your colonies just because you guys were douches about this whole entire war. And because you're allied with people I hate, so yeah, I'm gonna go take your colonies. There's not much you can really do about it because I'm gonna take them. There's not much you can really do about it. Oh, and apparently I lost a battle. Apparently the Dutch have a hella big army. Just destroyed the last little bit of whatever I had going for me. But at least I can raise wartime taxes, get a good amount of wars, get a good amount of war chests going. And again, I am going to win this. It's just, I just hope I can keep some of my land while I'm winning this. Because, honestly, there's no way in heck, I will, there's no way in heck Austria, France is going to let me lose. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to go siege up Scandinavia and go beat their butts, but it's going to take them a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to go, I guess I'm just going to be over here in the new world, just kind of chilling. Like, why not just, wait, let's go right here to Nova Scotia. And 
we still got the good thing about this is we still got all of Nova Scotia to they have to take so we still got some land there we go oh and uh, let's see how big is the colony not baby let's see go over here and we're going to take over everything in the new world that you guys hold precious to you because you guys are being complete and other idiots and you guys aren't letting me like do whatever I want but right, we're gonna keep close eye on making sure that there are no let's see how quickly could I escape if there were like ships nearby okay go for st. Lawrence you guys would save me okay good so on the other side though we have the British who are going to siege up most of my land over here we're gonna siege up most of the land over here I'm hoping Austria can get some alliances through the Hansa my military leader the only one I had just died this is not our greatest year I gotta admit <laughs> like out of all the years we've had on this on this world this is probably not the greatest and we are honestly just going to your ports have been blocked kind of guess that was gonna happen I mean it wasn't much I could really do but we do have somewhat of an army it's a good thing we did somewhat do things um it's gonna take them a little bit to go take the highlands and I'm gonna be taking a lot more of their provinces before they even get to me but I'm really hoping you guys get a military access to go all the way to over here to the Scandinavian lands Austria or one of you guys seriously because I don't want to be just sieged up over here. It'd be really bad. Like, really, really bad. But, as I said, we do have at least one province that we can start rebuilding from. Which is good. It's really good that we have one province we can start rebuilding from. So let's start using it as our base of operations. Start, like, using it as a chance, just in case. If we can start building up a bigger army over here. Do you guys not learn when I say I'm going to take your provinces if you guys keep You know if you guys keep trying to make colonies over here I'm just gonna steal all this and destroy them and make sure you guys don't have anything So stop making colonies England stop it Okay, and let's see Let's see we're gonna see if we can get <laughs> All right France, okay France became the war goal, okay? And the best part about this is that France is the war leader right now, so even if they do somehow defeat me, they won't be able to, the, the Occupy Me basically becomes null and void. We just have to hope that France doesn't declare, declare like, oh, this war costs us too much. Oh no. Hey, Austria, go back and go kick these guys' butts. Go kick these, like, little states that think they're better than you. What the heck? Come on, the AI is usually so good against me. Why are they being so bad against other fellow AI? <sighs> okay. We're gonna go recruit our men that we've carefully made in the provinces that we have taken. So the Highlands have now been officially taken, which means they officially got the war goal. But they have like a lot of their land sieged up, so they're not getting any war score for this, really. We just have to make sure that they stay they stay negative. And we just keep aggravating them if they try to actually, you know, do something amazing. Okay. And we have a somewhat decent army over here. We have 19k building up, so that means we still got good, you know, stuff going for us. Um, yeah. I'm looking at the positives here, people. Looking at the positives. This guy I'm going to kick out, though. He's so bad, I'm not even going to keep him. This guy's slightly better because he has one shock. I mean, one attack. So I'll keep him. But he's really terrible, too. Hmm. Let's see. Who would inherit the English throne if you were to die? Like, who inherits this? Hopefully not somebody I would know. But, hmm. Hey, guys. Could you guys go beat up the... Re the <clears throat> you guys are annoying me. Don't you dare lose this war. Austria, don't be an idiot. Let's get that, just so I can start increasing my province, my colonial, like, so I can increase my growth. But, don't be an idiot, guys. Don't start losing. Alright. We're still good. We're still not out of this, though. I mean, I still have to get all of our provinces over here. Um, but, apparently, these guys are playing it like idiot. Okay, thank you, Austria. Austria, you have an army right there. Why are you not... 
Guys? Okay, if this ends in white piece, I'll be happy. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.